Yo, what it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Season. I'm back with a brand new banger, man. As you guys can see by the towel and the thumbnail, we're doing a drag to... Bro, who, bro, who hit me up while I'm recording, bro? Anyway, man, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, man, we're doing a dredge. I, we're not doing a dredge. We're doing a street too. And this is actually going to be a street build on the 1970 Dodge Charger Super B. Now, this is now for anybody who don't know that, like the, the Super B, like they made these in the 70s and they made these in the, I say the early 2010s. Yeah, they made them in 2011 and 2012. Like they, like the, these are the scat packs before the scat packs. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like the scat pack, like these are the originators, but. I, I, I just had to drop up a little bit of knowledge on y'all, you feel me? So, anyway, before before we can even get into this video, man, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, put on the post notifications, follow my social media link down below in the description box down below. And, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this video, man. Let's go. Yo, man. All right, so now we in the upgrade shop. First, we got to go to conversion. You know what I'm saying? Engine swap. Go to um go with the 8.9 V A D S C engine. You know what I'm saying? Drive train. We keep that stall. We, we want to keep this rear wheel drive. You know what I'm saying? Or go to performer handling, brakes, get the race brakes, uh, spray the damper, get, get the race ones. You know what I'm saying? I did that so, so I could lower the suspension. You know what I'm saying? Because if we were just to keep it stock or street or sport, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to make this thing lower. I like to keep all my street cars like like low, like low to the ground kind of. Well, make them as low as they can be. So this is the reason why I picked I picked the race instead of just the the, the street one or, or sport. You know what I'm saying front anti roll bars, race one, same for the for the rear, the the, the weight reduction, the race weight reduction. You know what I'm saying back and now go to the drive train, clutch, race clutch, transmission. I got the 10 speed race transmissions because it it you know, the full full gear tier, uh tuning ratio. You know what I'm saying I, I tune the gear just a, a little bit. You know what I'm saying just just, let's just just a little bit, just a little bit. I ain't, I ain't tuning it much. You know what I'm saying because it's a street build, but. Go race drive line, you know what I'm saying? I got the sport differential, you know what I'm saying? I get the race, the off road rally, no drift, no off road. I, don't, I ain't got none of that. None of that. Tires, you know what I'm saying? Tire compound. I went with the, the slick race tires, you know what I'm saying? There's not really any. I mean, there are there is some street tires, but do you see how low the grip is on these? Like, come on now. Handling on these is terrible. You know what I'm saying? Um, For the, for the front, I did not um add like no type of width. You know what I'm saying to any of these tires, you know what I'm saying, but the rim size I put I put 16 inches on the front and rear, but I put 16 inches. I did not do anything with the track width, but these are the rims that um I got. Go to sport rims. I went with the American Racing um AR9 920 block heads. Uh, they, these are the rims that I went with. You know what I'm saying y'all y'all could keep them stock if y'all want to. You know what I'm saying because they don't look bad, but I I prefer to go with these. You feel me? Backing out, go to um, arrow and appearance front bumper. You know what I'm saying I kept I kept it stock. Did not I did not add this race bumper at the front. I did not add no no extra spoiler. I just kept it just no spoiler. But for the hood, I put the first for the Rising Fire Street hood on it. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> now backing on out, go to custom tuning. You know what I'm saying I I think I I think I, I put the tire pressure a little bit a little bit lower. I think I put it on the 33. I didn't tune the gears much. I just put. Oh, I forgot to put this down. Put this down to 380. Got to do that for the alignment camber front toe. I, remember, I said for the front toe. For the front, put it at zero degrees. Same for the rear. For the toe, the front and rear same thing. Front caster seven degrees. Inside roll bars, I put the front at 16.30 and the rear at 17.60. Springs for the uh, for the front and rear and ride high. I put them at the lowest because like, I like I like my cars kind of loaded the ground. All right, y'all. So I'm packing. We had on um, the the tune because it's kind of messing up. I don't know why. Like it 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 messed up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I keep my car kind of loaded the ground. The dampening, the rebound stiffness. I pretty much kept this the same. Same for the bump stiffness. Can't do none with the arrow. None with the brace. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't do none with the acceleration, the acceleration. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and back out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and, and show. Like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take y'all on a little drive because I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how fast this thing really is. Cause I, I didn't really like drive this thing much. I drove this thing like maybe three, like maybe three, three times. Like, since I, since when I first got it. So, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all once we get out there. Oh my! All right, so I'm on my way to the highway now. We're gonna do like the same way, like I did the Ferrari, but 
first we we get we gotta we gotta do a little a little song. I'm sorry, I'm turning it into every every Mopar owner, bro. Like, bro, I gotta put my phone on silent, bro. I've turned into every like, Mopar owner imaginable because every time I see an intersection, I just I just gotta do a I just gotta do a donut, bro. I I got to. I haven't really spun on this setup, so I mean, eh, it ain't it ain't that hard. Second gear. Nah, nah. If I, if I go to second, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be too hard. Cause if I give it too much gas in second, it's gonna, yeah. Now we're gonna hop on the highway. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Hmm. Well, I'm not paying it. CJ, you gotta pay attention to the road. Stop always looking at the speedometer 85% of the time. Like that's just my main problem. I keep on looking at the, the speedometer. And not the road mo most of the time. We went through all 10 gears already. Okay, we're gonna get whoa. 225, 26, 27. Alright, so basically 20, 230 miles an hour, basically. But like as as y'all know, like it's it's always it's always a, tra a tradition. We gotta hit the big ramp at, at the end of the highway. Like it's not even an option. But anyway, as we're on our way, like like there, I gotta tell y'all something. Like we hit uh, a th like almost three thousand views on one of our on one of our shorts in just in not even twenty four hours. Like I really appreciate y'all for for everybody tuning in, and um and, and I just hit like two hundred like two hundred subscribers like probably two three weeks ago, and I'm already at um at two. I'm I'm almost like halfway to three hundred almost. Like I I really appreciate appreciate y'all for clicking on the videos. You know what I'm saying like watching them all the way through putting on y'all pulling notifications showing love and all that like i really appreciate y'all for that like i real talk but anyway the time has come do i have to slow down for the turn not really we're gonna hit it at 204 miles per hour why did i go off sideways oh my goodness why did i go off sideways okay at least we landed it whoo I, I ain't gonna lie, this, this, this tune is, is actually valid, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, listen, I, I don't think y'all, like, alright, so I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a little song. Every time I do a tune on a car, you know what I'm saying, before I record, I, I test it out to make sure that it's, it's, it's valid enough to be put on video, because, like, like, if you're just tuning up by yourself and not, not looking up some, some YouTuber's tune or using somebody else's tune on the game, like, like, you have to go through trial and error just to think of a perfect tune. Like to make sure it's valid enough to put on video. Like it'd be taking me like an hour or two just to get a good tune to put on video. But like this, it took me like maybe I'd say about about ten minutes, considering that this is not a drag tune this time. But yeah. Anyway, man, be sure before we head out, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, put on the post notifications. You know what I'm saying? Or follow social media is linked down below in the description, man. And um, if Forza Horizon just announced that the new update is coming on July 19th, bro. That when that day drops, just be just just get ready for some uploads coming y'all way, man. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all in the next video, man. Peace.